Are you a homeowner considering installing a solar and battery storage system for your home? Or maybe you already have solar panels on your home and you're considering adding battery storage. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you about how solar batteries work so you can decide whether they're a good fit for you and your project. Okay, so in today's video, we're talking about solar batteries and particularly how do solar batteries work? Okay, so first of all, what is a solar battery? Now, when we talk about a solar battery or a solar energy storage system, what we're talking about is a battery that can be recharged by a solar panel system or solar panels on your roof. Uh, in many cases, solar batteries can be charged from utility power, and in some cases they can be charged from generator power source as well. But typically when we're talking about a solar battery, we're talking about a battery that can be charged by solar panels. All right, now let's take a look at the components that make up a solar power system. You've got your solar panels on the roof that are gonna convert sunlight to electricity. You have an inverter, which will convert the DC power coming off the solar panels into usable AC or alternating current power for your home. And then in many cases, you have battery storage attached, could be directly attached to the inverter or could be attached via wire and conduit. And then in many cases, you have some sort of a switching mechanism. So if you have a solar and battery system, particularly one that has the ability to run off the grid during a blackout, you typically have some sort of a gateway or switching mechanism that allows you to disconnect your home from the electric grid, but still energize solar and battery power within the home. By the way, leave a comment if you have solar panels on your home and you're thinking about adding battery storage. We'd like to hear from you and we'd like to hear which battery system you're choosing. Now, in recent years, we've seen the emergence of all-in-one solar and energy management platforms. Platforms. And what I mean by that is that instead of having individual solar system components coming from different manufacturers, one of the trends we're seeing in the industry now is the emergence of all-in-one solar inverter and energy management solutions, which could include your solar inverter, your battery storage, it could include your switching, it could include intelligent load management. Um, even EV charging integrated now as well, typically all controlled on a single app. And the advantage of all-in-one systems is that you now have a consistent end-to-end -end user experience being guaranteed by a single manufacturer and everything trackable by a single app which is a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, PointGuard. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new PointGuard Home. PointGuard Home gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, battery storage, bi-directional EV charging, and intelligent load control seamlessly integrated on a single platform. The system is built using a modular stackable design, allowing you to start with a small solar plus storage system and easily add more battery capacity or the DC EV charger at any time in the future. So if you'd like more information, go to the Point Guard website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Point Guard for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now you're gonna find that most solar batteries come in one of two types. AC coupled batteries or DC coupled batteries. Now, when we talk about AC coupled or DC coupled, what we're talking about is where does the interface between the solar panels and the batteries take place? Does it take place on the DC, the, the direct current side of the system before energy flows through an inverter? Uh, or does the interface happen at the AC side of the system at the AC circuit breaker panel? Um, to give you a quick recap, AC coupled batteries are typically what's gonna be used for adding battery storage after the fact to an existing solar power system because the wiring can be done more conveniently at ground level at the AC circuit breaker panel. Whereas DC coupling is more used for new solar and battery storage installations. And oftentimes a DC coupled battery is preferred because the electricity coming off of the solar panels is DC. The, the battery cells themselves internally are DC. And so if you can charge the battery directly using solar to battery direct DC to DC charging, it's just overall a more efficient operation. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about AC and DC coupling batteries, go back and watch our previous video on AC versus DC coupling, where we dive into this topic in more detail. You're also gonna find that solar batteries come in one of two primary chemistries today. Uh, by, by the way, I should mention, there are some older chemistries that were used five, 10 years ago, like lead acid, gel, and AGM. 
but today's home solar batteries are typically gonna fall into one of two categories of the newer lithium-based batteries. And that's gonna be either the lithium NMC, nickel manganese cobalt, uh, or the newer, more durable lithium iron phosphate, or LFP. Now, LFP is sort of emerging as the preferred state of the art for home batteries. Uh, although the lithium iron phosphate batteries are a little bit larger and a little bit heavier, they operate at a cooler temperature and they're considered safer for in the home use. Uh, on the other hand, lithium NMC batteries are still in use, particularly in electric vehicles and in some home batteries as well. Uh, the advantage of the lithium NMC is it, it's a more space efficient, more energy dense chemistry. So you can, you can store more energy in a, in a smaller unit of volume and a smaller unit of mass. That's particularly why they're advantageous for vehicles because you have to carry that weight around with you. The NMC chemistry lends itself well for that. But it also works well for home batteries as well, especially when you need to have high surge power output. Now, solar batteries are not necessarily for everyone. And if you're not sure if solar batteries are worth it for you in your area, go back and reference our previous video on why solar batteries are not worth it, where we talk about the different scenarios where a battery could or could not save you money, or if you're just looking for a solution for emergency backup power, then definitely a solar battery would be a benefit to you. You know, I consider solar and battery storage the most secure emergency backup power source, because if you lost utility power, you can power the home directly on solar during the daytime. You can charge any extra solar into the battery. And then at nighttime, you can drain the battery. You can run the house off the battery. And then the next day, the solar panels take over and they recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need without having to worry about fuel storage or fuel availability. So for emergency backup power, solar batteries are definitely worth it. Well, folks, this has been a short presentation on how solar batteries work. Uh, again, go back and watch the other solar surge videos because we do a lot of in-depth battery reviews and comparisons that'll help you understand uh, the, the whole space of solar batteries in more detail. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, uh, or maybe you already have a price quote, you need to get a comparison quote to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. As always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with an expert, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you. Um, or you can just use the free online quote tool. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.